Hi everyone. Uh, today we are here to show you the measurement of tapperness using sign bar. The required in, uh, equipments are a dial gauze and we have a taper cylinder as our specimen. This is a sign bar of length 100 mm and these are also available in different lengths. And this is made up of high carbon steel. Okay. And this is a magnetic stand for the stiffness. Okay. So, and again we have uh, slip gauges required. So, to find the theoretical taper angle, we use the formula theta is equal to tan inverse of d minus d by 2L, where capital D is the major diameter of the specimen, small d is the minor diameter of the specimen and L is the length of the specimen. So, using vernier calipers, we have found out the major dia as 17.99 which is approximately 18 and uh, minor dia as 14.28 which is approximately 14 and length of the taper length as 69.98 which is 70 mm. So, substitu uh, by substituting all these in the theta is equal to tan inverse of d minus d by 2l which is theoretical taper angle, we have found out uh, theta as 1.44 radian which is also equal to 1.29 degrees ok so to find the height of the slip gauges we have the formula theta equals to sin inverse h by 2l where l is the length of the sine bar which is 100 mm and h is the height of the slip gauge substitute theta from the theoretical taper angle and we will get the height as around 5.01 so, we have found out the H value as uh, 5.01 mm. So, from the slip gauges box, we, uh, we have to take two slip gauges which can combinedly make approximate value to 5.01. So, we have taken here as 5.4 mm. So, next, by, uh, by combining them, keep it below the sign bar and Take the specimen and the minor, di uh, minor diameter side should be on the incline and other should be on opposite. So now hold it stiff and turn on the magnetic stand. After this take the dial gauze and we have the least count of this dial gauze as 0.001 mm. It is the least count of this dial gauze. Okay? So, it has 200 divisions inside the dial gauze. So, one revolution of this needle makes 200 microns. So, first we will place it on the minor dia side. Okay. We will measure the angle. You can see the deflection when the mic dial goes touches the specimen. So we need to consider the maximum deflection. Yeah, we can see the dial goes decreasing as I move forward. So the maximum deflection was 50. Right. So we got the minor diameter side deflection was around 50 and so now we are checking on the major diameter side. Yeah, as you can see uh, the maximum deflection was around 35. 35. So we consider this side deflection as around it was 35 so we got the difference uh, between the um, major uh, major dia side and minor dia side as 15 microns uh, the maximum acceptable difference is 20 microns so which states that the surface and the specimen on the sign bar are parallel so this is the tabular column for the experiment. So here are the values for that. 
so from starting we have got uh, theoretical taper angle as 1.44 so from the given values we have to find the taper value using the formula sin inverse of uh, pra practical value using the formula sin inverse h by 2l so for the h we have taken 5.44 which is the gauss length gauss height so from that we are by applying the formula and the values in the for formula we have got the taper angle as 1.44 so which is more accurately accurate to the theoretical uh, angle which concludes that the surface and the sine bar tap, uh, taper specimen are uh, parallel hence the today's experiment and this was conducted by Shashank Mudor and Ajit Kuri thank you